So the other pictures I've got to find frames for are this large picture of a cabbage field. Um, it's impossible to show you this art deco picture. Um, another art deco kind of picture, uh, which is also a rectangle and a square. And then these two snippets are actually book pages. This is never going to fit the dimensions of any standard picture frame, so not even this one. Macintosh. It, I just absolutely love it. It's kind of Art Deco style, and I've kind of ruined it because again, it was rolled so tightly. And trying to roll it the other way, I now have a few wrinkles in it. But basically. It's a really awkward uh, shape. Couldn't find anything in IKEA that remotely fit it. But what I could do is buy another one of these dimension frames and just get a custom-made mount, which might possibly look okay. But in the meantime, I've used the little stickers that Redbubble gives people when they buy prints and I'm just going to stick it into the wall just to remind myself roughly where it goes and the gold in this painting I thought would go wonderfully with the gold in the grandfather clock so I'm just going to kind of imagine where it would be once it has a frame around it. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this is a Scottish painter, I, I can't quite remember his name. This print is, is amazing, um, but not for above the cabinet, more for over by the grandfather clock with darker pictures.
So, uh, so much in celebrity gogglebox. Um, box. Now we're on to the next three IKEA frames. Not very successful choices, but uh, let me just meet the others. Uh, actually, I'll just keep them for you. Now, this was a really, really poor quality print from Red Bubble. Um, look how fuzzy that is. Incredible. Yeah, so I was actually refunded for this, but because I love the print so much, it's by Charles Renee Macintosh. Hang on, let me just mute the TV. Because I love it so much, I decided to frame it anyway. Um, just kind of never look at it up close. Now, the best um, frame I could find in Ikea for it was this one. Obviously, it's too big for the mount, so I'm going to actually stick it on top of the mount. And um, hope it kind of doesn't really notice. Now, the key to this is sticking it really securely and flat and I'm going to try and roll it a little bit the other way to flatten it because otherwise I won't have a hope in hell of print sticking it because it's photographic paper so it's even firmer than normal card so just roll it a little bit and print stick it right I've rolled it all four ways and uh, I think it's more or less flattenly there is not very much leeway at all to stick so I'm not sure this is going to be successful and obviously I can't do solo tape loops on the back or something like that so yeah right so we've got quite a lot of leeway top and bottom but not very much leeway either side I did it I hope for the best I don't know if it's straight I'm usually really good at telling if things are straight but I haven't got time to at the moment and if I can't tell it's not straight other people won't so I'm just gonna, not too bad at all from a distance. I wanted to have this print when I first saw it beneath that wall light there, just between the socket and the wall light. But it's actually, it framed, it's turned out to be a little bit bigger than I thought. And I'm not sure if it's a bit too big for that space. Sorry, I can't hold the camera back any further. The black certainly goes with the black of the wall light, but also because the resolution of the print is so, I'm not sure whether I want it that prominently displayed. In fact, I can't because the print is so bad, so I thought maybe I could put it behind the TV on one of those awkward little tree walls there, along with the Dagar, because the kind of, I feel they kind of go together in similar colours. Yeah, so I think that... Okay, so I'm not going to be able to frame um, the pictures I have in the IKEA frames and hang all of these pictures tonight because it's nine o'clock now. So I think I'll just decide where everything will go tonight. Then I'll set the alarm tomorrow for seven, although I can't stop banging at seven. Okay, uh, it's a Sunday. So um, I'll just wake up and maybe about 10 or half 10 or 11, I'll start hanging pictures and just kind of prop the pictures up against the wall and try and remember, I might have to do pencil sketches of where they go because I don't have time to cut out paper squares the exact size of the pictures and um, do it properly because I only have, well, 24 hours and now actually uh, more like 18 hours to do all these jobs in. Um, so, yep, yeah. and the chaos, uh, it, the chaos is just everywhere, yeah. This little frame is, um, 
pretty cheap and cheerful. If I take the dragonfly out, it may be okay to hang on the shaker shelves. And I've got these little bits of wrapping paper actually from the table runner I bought, uh, Gok and Jobs. I had no idea how to pronounce it. This beautiful table runner by a Swedish fabric designer, I think, from the 60s that I bought on Etsy. And it was wrapped up in, as someone may know if they've watched um, a previous video, they was wrapped up in this paper. Just pages from an old Swedish, what looks like botanical book. So I'm going to cut out a square, this one for this frame, and this one for this frame in this square here. It's going to look a little bit lopsided, but I just like the pages so much. Um, that's I'm going to use this square, place it over here and cut out. So I sellotaped the IKEA picture to the bit of um, the, to the book page, and now I'm going to cut around the IKEA picture freehand as best I can, just so that it, they don't move when I get us. Okay, so now I just uh, separate the two, and I have a perfect square of the book page, and now to center it in the frame, which will be a tiny. Okay, so I've got my square of book page, now I'm going to secure it with a loop of cello tape to the back pane of perspex, and then slide the front pane of perspex. Hooray, success! It's going to take an easy one. <laughs> All I have to do is sell it, tape it to the back. Well, you can either have it in the corner like that, which I think looks best, or centre the the drawing. So, um, yeah, no, I'm going to Should I have the little title at the top? I don't know. Mm -hmm. oh, it's like I'll have to put stick this to the board again, because when you sell it, these bits of paper for some reason. Uh, they get all wrinkly. It's the same thing happens if you put stick it to the mount, so there's no way around to go to try and do is make sure the put stick isn't in bobbles on the back of the mount. So you've got to try and smooth it with your fingers as best you can, though covering every square. So Cabbage painting, uh, I mean, painting of a few other cabbages by Excuse Gogglebox Skin, one of my favourite programs. I'll put the artist down below, but um, I thought this would fit in this IKEA frame. And then I have this absolutely, excuse me, awful camera, absolutely exquisite picture by, I think it's Macintosh, but it's a woman, it's not Charles Rene, it's Margaret Macintosh, I think, I'm not sure if they're a relation. And this is to go in that. First to roll this the other way around. So, um, the picture is a tiny bit bigger than the mount, and I'm not sure whether to stick it over the top of the mount, but I can't because I think the surrounding paper is not the same colour as the mount. I'm not sure what to do. Um, I think I'll actually have to put stick it to the mount board because it's a little bit wrinkled. So it won't work just um, unless it's stuck to a board, which means the mount will have to go on top of this only. So I decided to glue it over the mount because I didn't like to cut lose any of the picture and it just looked sort of a bit crap with the mount on top of it. Ah, there's a little bit of it's not really, the print stick hasn't really stuck in there. Okay, so I did it, but I think it's skew it's just going up here, isn't it? And there's a mark there, so I have to take it off. This is not right. not brilliant by any means, but it'll have to do. to roll it the other way again. 
get the best thing to do with this one because in the process of rolling it the other way I've kind of dented it a little bit is to print stack it to the board um, because thankfully I don't have to worry about any edges but in order to get the piece of paper in the right place on the board oh sorry it's goggle box again hang on um, I need to put stick the board rather than the paper because if I put stick the paper and then try and put the board on top I won't get it in the right place whereas if I put stick the board actually no that won't work either so I stuck um, cello tape around the edge and now I'm going to stick it in the right place on the mount and then still goggle box and then I'm going to put stick that board I'm going to stick all the way over the back of this board but when you turn it in the light it looks like only some parts of the uh, Fritz sticks only sort of adhered to some parts, I'm not sure if it's sticky or worse. There's actually a bump in the board here which I didn't notice because the hanging has been punched through too strongly and therefore that bump with, you know, this will show up through the picture now. I, I, I assume for a moment it's just it's going to take this tissue and press very carefully without dragging the paper uh, to the backing board and I don't know, I'm just going to pray that that bracket is okay. I didn't press too strongly because I was afraid of bumps and uh, inconsistent unevenness showing through, so now I'm just going to actually that's okay. Uh, just about this fine. It's a shame the mount is really the wrong size for the picture, but uh, oh, maybe I should have glued the picture on top of the mount. Oh, yeah, I should have done that. I guess I can't do it now because there'll be print stick there. But, uh, oh my gosh, I don't know. When you can't afford to buy uh, or get frames specially made for a picture, uh, you just have to do this place to put this beautiful um, Macintosh print in this, I, I feel very complimentary frame, is in the hallway because we've got a lot of similar coloured wood um, against the blue wallpaper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, could do. If I need a large... Mm, I'm not sure it's quite right though to go above the ch Chinese chest because we need something a bit more vibrant. It could easily go here, yes. I wonder if it's a bit too samey though, the, the lilac blue of the picture and the blue of the wallpaper. Uh, I mean, it, it also would go nicely above the chest. Um, I feel there's a lot of blues going on in that corner. Yeah, that's really poor reproduction. So that's, I'll just show you. So the camera's focusing on my thumb, but that's how blurry the print is. I got these to go in the hallway, but at, and um, not necessarily even framing them, but actually against the wallpaper. They don't look right somehow. They look a bit unfinished, I'll show you. I mean, on camera it's going to look a lot better, but in real life it just looks like someone stuck a bit of board on the wall. Is that print stick? Oh my god, is it? No, it's in the print. So, uh, look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful print on board. Um, again, on camera that looks fine. In real life it lo just looks wrong. And with the smaller ones, I wanted to have four... Um, Kind of, 
is the full version of a triptych. Anyway, uh, going along this bit of the wall here. Uh, but I think, I can't remember what happened to two. Uh, maybe they were such bad quality I discarded them. But again, in real life, they just don't look right. Or well, they won't look taped, I mean, stuck to the wall. Because they come with this little kind of sticky, round foam discs. Um, so, um, most of them are small enough to go along shelves in the bookcase. I think the larger ones, or, or actually on a shelf, I think the larger ones won't look quite right. But the smaller ones might look alright if I push my books back and sort of lean them in the bookcase. Um, so I'll leave the smaller ones in the bookcase and arrange them properly later. And I don't know about this one. It's absolutely beautiful. Again, you can tell it's Charles Reddy Macintosh. Incredible. So delicate. So beautiful. Um, I wonder what that would look like on the bookcase. I'll leave it here just for now. Um, because I have a lot of pictures to go on the walls of a very small flat. Now these two, I kind of imagine they would be look beautiful on a shelf. Um, uh, I don't feel, I feel that, that it's just too special to be propped on a bookshelf. Shelf, a bookshelf. Bookcase shelf. Let's just try it. Um, I mean, it's possible, but I feel it deserves a proper shelf, like a display shelf. So, but then you won't really see it on those shelves there. It's just not space. Um, hmm. I'll try to see if these board prints look any good um, on the bedside tables. Hmm. No, they're completely lost. Completely lost, and the colour is wrong. I mean, this pink is a possibility, but, hmm, it's possible, but it's just the scale is so small, yeah. I don't know what to think. I mean, it's possible. Yeah, I could put it there. It's a bit lost. Um, I'm just trying to think if there are any other shelves, but there aren't. There are just the bookcases or the cabinet, which is really full. I could prop it at the back of the cabinet against a larger picture, that's possible. But I also have this one. Now this is possibly the most exquisite of them all. This does deserve to go on the wall properly in its own right. I think that might be too lost there. Does this even fit on this shelf? Lean this one here for now. Um, and leave that pink one up there. I just don't know what to do with that. Uh,
Right, these smaller picture frames can definitely go on the bookcases. I could have, well, I could have put them in this cabinet. I might do, but at the moment it's really full. Whereas the bookcase shelves are really deep, they go back a long way, so I'll put them here. These two lovely, I think they're Nobu, Nuku, 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 metal frames with the fabric, um, kind of hangers and pictures of my grandparents and grandfather's house. I don't know where to put them because I'm not sure how they will interact with the quite intense wallpaper I've got all over the place. Um, they look okay on camera. In real life, they're a little bit lost actually. Um, they'll definitely be lost in the bookcase. Uh, I guess they would go best on a white or plain wall with no pattern. So I'm really not sure where to put those. in place and mainly colours and the themes so that possibly like the dark picture frames together or maybe that's complete uh, maybe that's a waste of time. canvases by Cedric Morris on those kitchen shelves but the kitchen shelves turned out well they had to be quite a lot shallower than I thought so I don't think either of these either, even the um, slightly shallower one will fit on them. okay so the shallower one does um, just fit on the shelf so I might make room for that but where to put all the china and um, that print not going well yeah there's the beautiful red bowl just smashed, fallen to the floor because blue tack really doesn't hold plates very well in place. Um, does anyone know how to hold plates in place uh, apart from the really horrible plastic plate stands, which means you can't put plates close to one another? No. So before I do that, I should really just, I've been trying to decide roughly where pictures are going to go. And I think the black pictures actually work best with this um, Barasta picture, picture wallpaper because it's very hard to actually put anything with this wallpaper. The black pictures also go reasonably well with the blue um, sort of arts and crafts paper in the hall. But I have a different colour scheme going on here. And these are kind of more food related and well, I, feel, I just feel this is a kitchen picture. I actually wanted to put that last one, which I painted. It's imitating a famous painting on the shelves, but again, there's not room. But I'm gonna just dump pictures against walls where they're gonna go because then I have to, I have to work from the large to the small while hanging these pictures. Now, oh, I've just said that that is going on a bookshelf. Yeah, already established that. So let's just put this safe for now put it on a bookshelf and I wonder if this Cedric Morris I mean we've got the other Cedric Morris up there on the shelf I wonder if this is too pale to work on the Barasta Petter wallpaper I feel it's ju it ju we just about get away with it it's just about dark enough to be distinguishable so we've got those now um, sadly I think these two plimps uh, which are just part of a, a much uh, of a larger picture um, and basically I bought it because I like the dimensions of this one but was actually supplied with this one so then I wrote and explained that I'd wanted these dimensions and the lady kindly sent me an additional print so I have two now I'm actually not sure which I prefer but I still think I prefer this dimension but basically colour wise I don't think it works with the Barasta Petit paper let me see in real life. 
Actually, it's pretty dark against the paper, so maybe this would tie in nicely with these. Um, these white frames, I feel, are going to be either best suited in the hall, on the quite dark blue floral paper, or in the main bedroom against the black rhubarba barasta petal paper. Um, now, this gold, um, small... Um, I th this is Degar, I think. It's a small detail of a Degar painting. I just imagined this next to this go the gorgeous uh, William Morris strawberry thief curtain. So I feel this will go on this wall here. So I'll just leave it there for now. Um, right, we have this, which is distinctly kitcheny and um, foody. I remember this was by my sink in the studio flat. But because it's so white, I'm not sure if it will go very well in here. I mean, I could possibly. I can't think. I can't think where else it would go. Would it go sort of beneath here? Is that too cramped? I think that's a bit too cramped, and it comes out too much from the wall to go beneath that light. Uh, I really can't think where else it would go, though. Just add toast. You can't really put that in the hall or the bedroom. So I'll put it with the kitchen dining kind of pictures for now. It may turn out that we are actually uh, blending white and frames and dark frames in that area. And this picture I will give away to someone. Um, so I'll just put that safe for now.